hi and welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about a topic that i have very dear and very close to my heart and that is talking about nursing specialties as you know you don't have to be a bedside nurse if you're a nurse right now and you're working on the best which means you're on the ward patient facing role if you think oh my goodness this is not for me look it's not the end there are other options. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you three amazing nursing specialties that are just, they're not very stressful, very highly paid, absolutely amazing career progression pathways that you need to consider apart from bedside nursing. I get loads of emails and messages from many of you saying, Melvis, I'm in the UK right now. Look, this bedside nursing is just not for me. I've done my own fair share. Maybe you just want something else to transition into. What else is there? I've just chosen these three specialties because obviously they're just absolutely amazing. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. What are these three specialties? What else can you do as a nurse rather than just working on the ward? Because obviously there's a lot to nursing than many of us can imagine. My job, for example, is working as an advanced nurse practitioner. By the way, if you're new here, you're absolutely welcome. I hope that you're going to implement the things I'm talking about. And I want to leave a comment in the comment section below. Are you a nurse or are you still planning to get into nursing? I just want to know more about you, what your plans are. If you are a nurse, where do you currently work? If you're planning to get into nursing, what is your plan? You know, are you in the UK? Are you out of the UK? You know, what's your plan to become a qualified nurse? And let me tell you, no bias here. Nursing is the best profession in the entire world. Yes, nursing is the best. So if you're watching this and you've been sat thinking, is nursing for me? Is it not? Please join the group. Join us. It is absolutely worth it. The opportunities that nursing brings. Look, there is no other profession, no other career they'll give you similar opportunities, especially if you know how to navigate your way through, how to go about it so they can make the most out of this profession. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you want to hit that subscribe button. If you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. Also, I do have a free newsletter where I send information about career progression opportunities in the UK, work from home jobs, side hustle ideas to earn more money, starting your own side business, visa sponsorship jobs, obviously in the UK, so if you check the comment section below, you see a link to my newsletter. It's completely free. It won't take you 20 seconds to join. You drop your name and email and you are part of it. You don't want to be reliant on the YouTube algorithm for such vital information that is so crucial for your personal and professional development. That's why I dedicate myself every single day, 10 a.m. prompt UK time to bring you this information on this beautiful platform. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Also, I do offer personalized guidance with career progression in the UK, getting into nursing, healthcare, UK visa sponsorship opportunities. You know, you're a carer, but you were a nurse back home. You're wanting to transition back into nursing with or without alto OET. Again, I'm your girl to guide you successfully through that journey. So if you're considering having a look at my coaching program, do feel free to check the description box below or the about section of this YouTube channel and you'll see a link to my coaching program because as an advanced nurse practitioner myself, I understand the importance of career progression, progressing, becoming the best version of yourself so that you can thrive, you can excel and your whole experience will make it all worthwhile. So what are some of these jobs? The first job we're going to talk about is a nurse lecturer. Look, being a nurse lecturer is one of the best jobs that there is in the profession. It's one of those jobs where once people get into lecturing, that's it. <laughs> they don't leave. They just retire. And that's how you know that it is a good job because they don't leave. And, you know, it's just, it's great. You know, it's great. And if you're considering it again, you need to go for it. There are courses, there are pathways. The pathway way that you choose to become a nurse lecturer really depends on what, what's your experience right now because there are certain expectations and certain level, there's a certain level of clinical experience that you're going to be expected to have to become a nurse lecturer. Also, in my coaching program, I've got courses that I've done with 15 different pathways, you know, for career progression. So I've got all sorts of career progression pathways with everything you need. What do you need to do to become this? What's the job about? What do you do? What's the interview like? Interview questions, every single thing. So when you join my coaching program, you've got access to this information 
with career progression pathways in the UK for you as a nurse so you can explore them and it's just absolutely mind-blowing. So you want to check it out and make sure that obviously you join in order to get that guidance. So nurse lecturer, that's the first one we're talking about. The second one is occupational health. And by the way, if you're wondering who I am, I started my own UK journey working as a carer in a nursing home. And then studied nursing in the UK, you know, graduated with a first class degree in adult nursing. I went on to do a mentorship in nursing qualification at master's level. And I'm currently concluding my third year master of science in advanced clinical practice you know i've worked in district nursing in hematology surgical assessment general surgery day surgery colorectal surgery management leadership to now working as an advanced nurse practitioner so by the time i was five years qualified as a nurse in the uk i already had a job working as an advanced nurse practitioner and mind you this is the most senior clinical nursing position in the profession so when it comes to career progression nursing in the uk this is a topic that I love, you know, this is a topic that I'm absolutely in love with because I live in breathe nursing updates, what's going on, the NMC, what's happening. I love all of that. And that's why I thrive so much in the profession. So, and this is why obviously I've got this coaching program because yes, I've got that background. I've got that experience. I have walked the walk. And so I feel that I can tell you about what these opportunities are. So again, lovely to have you here and i do hope that you can implement all of this if you've got any questions as i'm yapping along anything you want me to provide more information about please do leave that in the comment section below and i'm going to join you there um to make sure that i provide that information answers that you have to those queries but like i've said if you need that personalized tailored and individualized guidance then consider joining my private coaching program which is where i offer all of that because you know there's all the resources there's the our nursing community hub which is where it's available 24 7 you can ask your questions get your answers promptly we've got weekly live sessions where we go through everything you've got our community support you have one-to-one -one sessions with me as well just to make sure that you're on track you know you've got your individualized plan that you're working on and it's just amazing to have and the success that we have from the members and you know senior positions and all of that is just mind blowing second job occupational health so occupational health um as per the name really what you'll be doing is supporting staff with their health so it could be that you're working for the nhs for example you're working for a private company it could be even virtual from home there's all sorts of options when it comes to occupational health and it is also one of the highest paying nursing specialties to get into. Also, there are dedicated courses and pathways for you to become an occupational health nurse. You can't just be like, hey, you know, I'm an occupational health nurse now. It doesn't work. All of these different things. If you're not a bedside nurse, there are pathways for you to pursue. And I think that's why many colleagues get stuck in the same position because they are thinking, oh, my God, how do I do this? What about this pathway? How do I progress? How do I become an advanced nurse practitioner like me? There is a dedicated pathway for you to become a qualified advanced nurse practitioner. So, again, you know, what are you interested in? What nursing pathway are you interested in? Do share that in the comment section below. And then, so there's occupational health nurse. You can work privately. You can earn a lot of money. I've got a mentor of mine who works for a private company in the UK as an occupational health nurse, and she earns a hundred and twenty-six thousand pounds per year. So she is paid a hundred and twenty-six thousand pounds per year as a nurse to work full time. That's seven and a half hours a week. She doesn't work extra shifts, and she earns over a hundred grand. So there is money to be made if you choose the right specialty. But most importantly, the right level of experience, because you've got to have a certain level of, you know, experience, knowledge, courses, pathways and all of that to earn this amount of money and to get to those positions. And the third one is research. Look, research is a specialty that is one of the least stressful jobs for having nursing. It's also very good for work-life balance, which is something I haven't mentioned, which is something I should have mentioned, because work-life balance is something that is amazing with these known bedside um, jobs because the hours are more flexible. You know, if you're working on the ward, if it's 8 till 8, it's going to be 8 till 8. They're not very flexible, like, oh, yeah, you're going to do till whatever time. No. So if you're working as a research nurse, so what you do is that you're not like a researcher yourself. That's a different thing. So a research nurse and a nurse researcher are two completely different jobs. If you're working as a research nurse, you're mainly supporting the principal investigator to say follow up 
you know, the participants in the research, to recruit participants, to see the participants, get samples from them, whatever it is that is needed. That's what you mainly do as a research nurse. It's generally a senior position as well. So you're paid more. Um, again, there are courses and pathways to pursue to get to a research nurse, but obviously it depends on where you are right now in your journey. So without knowing what your personal circumstances are, it's difficult for me to give that tailored guidance. So what do you think about these three opportunities we've shared? Which one resonates with you? What do you think you're going to pursue? Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just hit that subscribe button. If you've liked this content, hit the like button, share this with your nurse friends, colleagues, and please, if you're considering nursing, join us. It is an amazing profession with loads of opportunities. I've also linked up this video especially for you that's going to give you even more information about different career pathways and different ways to get into nursing without paying any money whatsoever. I'll see you in this video.